You're listening to KVRU.org, broadcasting worldwide at KVRU.org, representing Columbia City, Beacon Hill, Rainier Beach, Hillman City, the Central District, John Kircher's Spanish Castle Magic, featuring interviews with Seattle music legends. This is a great opportunity to learn more about the significant impact of Seattle. All right, uh, you're listening to Noise No Noise on Hollow Earth Radio. It is 5.35 p.m. Brian, take us away. This is the new age of radio, low-powered FM community-run stations. The idea behind it, the public owns the airwaves, and everyone should have a chance to be heard. I think LPFM is going to end up being a very, very important thing for music and arts communities and social justice communities. Low-power FMs will be spaces that folks can walk to and have access to a studio and a community of folks they can work with to hone their craft. Okay, everyone's signed in. Are we ready to go to class? But before anyone broadcasts, stations must be approved by the Federal Communications Commission, fundraise, create studios, buy and install antennas, and figure out how to be a radio station. Uh, in 1947, this thing called the Fairness Doctrine was created. Well, we've been working on things like uh, a station manual, which are the rules of the station, and applications so that people can start applying for shows. Cameron Collins is one of the volunteers working to get the Magnuson Park station on air within the three-year deadline. It kind of has taken on a personality of its own, and hopefully we're going to grow and be a strong voice in the north end of Seattle. The only station on air in Seattle under the new radio rules is KXSU 102.1 at Seattle University. The former college radio station was rechristened as Low Powered FM in February 2016. Rainier Valley Radio and Hollow Earth are live streaming on the internet with plans to hit the broadcast dial by spring of 2017. Like many LPFM stations, Rainier Valley Radio's first years are being largely financed by a nonprofit. If these groups don't get on the air, those frequencies just go into a big pot. No other nonprofits likely will have access to them. Um, corporate radio stations will grab those up as repeaters. It's me, Tony B, your host of Street Beat. Rainier Valley station manager Tony Benton feels the pressure. I'm the janitor, I'm the engineer, I'm the uh, uh, trainer, I'm the producer. Uh, oh, a couple of things I do want to mention. I mentioned in um, 1934 the FCC was created. And he is the person responsible for making sure everyone who walks through the door feels ready to take to the airwaves. Uh, we've had a discussion about social media, how you go viral, how you build viral campaigns. Um, you've had a course on DJing. All seven low-powered FM stations licensed in Seattle will be part of the emergency broadcast system. We are your place for an emergency if something happens. Also, if you've lost your dog, <laughs> you know, we're here for you as well. Buskers of Seattle, Moondog Medicine, Please Pass the Ketchup, and Black Girl and the Pacific Northwest are some of the shows currently running on low-powered FM. Someone requested doing a show where uh, they read Dr. Seuss books. Now, that may sound a little different, but then you know what? Let's, let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's put some Dr. Seuss out there, uh, see about creating some theater of the mind, and go back to old school radio. Hollow Earth is a great place to come with a weird idea that maybe you can't do alone, or maybe you want to broadcast it, and say, hey, I want to do this thing. Like, we'll be like, yeah, come do this thing, you know? Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.